Hi friend, as I'm sure you're aware, you have only a few days left until February 26th when Amazon will officially remove the download and transfer via USB option for Kindle books. In my previous video, I broke this down in detail, what this change does, what it doesn't affect, what I recommend doing and the consequences of this update. One of my recommendations was to download your books to your PC or Mac before it's too late. But here's the issue. If you've got a hundred or even more Kindle books, Amazon's website isn't exactly built to let you bulk download them easily. So in this video, I will walk you through a faster way using a script created by Chris Hollindale and full credit goes to Chris. You may find other scripts floating around, but this one worked perfectly for me. So I wanted to share it with you. Now, I know when some people hear the word JavaScript or using some kind of a script, their brain just shuts down. But trust me, this is super simple and I will guide you through it step by step. And hey, if this video helps you, please hit that like button so more people can find it before it's too late. Let's jump right in. First, you need to install a browser extension called Tamper Monkey. This allows us to run user scripts like the one created by Chris directly on websites. I'm using Chrome for this, but Tamper Monkey is also available for Microsoft Edge, Safari, Opera Next and Firefox. I will put all the necessary links in the description of this video. Once you install it, pin the extension so the icon stays visible. This makes it easier to access later. Next, we need to add Chris script to Tamper Monkey and enable it. Here's how it works. Go to the GitHub repository, select it all and copy all 115 lines of the script. Then. Click on the Tamper Monkey icon and select create a new script. Inside the editor, delete everything that's there. So select it all and paste the script you just copied. Before saving, there are two important things to tweak. First, if you're not using amazon.com, you need to change the region. By default, the script is set up for amazon.com. But if you're downloading from amazon.co.uk like I do or another region, go to the line seven and change .com to .co.uk on the website or wherever your country's domain is. The second tweak speeds up the download process. The script downloads each book every five seconds, but I found you can speed it up. Go to line 96, where you will see value 5000, which is in milliseconds. Change that to 1000 for a one second delay or even 500 for half a second, and it will run even faster. Once you've made those changes, go to file, click save, and that's it. The script will now appear in Tamper Monkey and should be enabled automatically. Now let's test it. Open Amazon, go to manage my content and devices, then head over to the books section. If everything is set up correctly, you will see a big green trigger download button. The script works great and now you don't have to manually download hundreds of books one by one. One little thing to keep in mind, Amazon's page layout only displays up to 25 books at a time. This means the script can only handle those 25 books per run. Once it's finished, you will need to manually switch to the next page and trigger the script again by clicking the button. So yes, there are still a few clicks involved depending on how many books you have, but trust me, it's way, way better than manually downloading every single book one by one. And hey, if this video helps you, please give it a like. It really helps more people find this before deadline. And if you're into e-ink devices, reviews and content like that, consider subscribing. And if you'd like to hear my thoughts on what's the whole situation about, you can check this video right here. All the best and I will see you in the next one. Bye.